Hey everybody, uh, this lesson is uh, writing percents as fractions and decimals. Don't forget all your lessons can be found at mrmathlog.com. Okay, here we go. So here's our, our common course strand for our teachers. And our question here is how can we write uh, percents as fractions and decimals? Okay, so remember to write a percent as a fraction or a decimal, we first write the percent as a ratio. A ratio means a fraction that compares it to the number 100. Remember, percent means per 100. So for example, 47% is 40 seven hundredths because it's out of a hundred right there so so we're going to use that strategy on a lot of these right here so here we go cindy eats blueberry a blueberry muffin an orange and a banana for breakfast so what fraction of the daily value of vitamin c does each item contain okay so we're going to change 15 percent to a, a fraction uh, we're going to um, uh, change 113 to a fraction and then 0.5 percent as a fraction okay we're going to change all those percents to fractions okay so let's write each uh, percent as a fraction so 15 percent remember is the same as 1500 so it would be 15 of these squares out of 100 right there okay so uh, now let's go ahead and reduce this if we can reduce it always reduce it you guys so what number goes into 15 and 100 okay remember the trick if this ends in a five and this ends in a zero five goes into both of these five goes into 15 uh, three times and five goes into 10 two times but it's 10 with a zero so 20 so it's going to be 15 or I'm sorry 3 over 20 when we reduce that okay so 15 percent uh, the fraction is 3 20ths right there okay always reduce it all right so 113 percent okay so 113 percent is is um is a hundred out of a hundred plus thirteen out of a hundred right there okay so here's the the hundred percent or a hundred out of a hundred plus uh, the thirteen out of a hundred okay now a hundred out of a hundred do you know what a hundred out of a hundred reduces to it reduces to one right there okay so this is one plus thirteen hundredths all right let's write that as a mixed number so a hundred thirteen percent is going to be one and thirteen hundredths okay here's the hundred percent plus 1300 so 113 hundreds right there all right okay so 0 0.5 percent is the same as 0 0.5 out of a hundred which is just a half a square out of these hundred right here all right now we can't have decimals inside of fractions right there so what we're going to do is move this decimal over one place and what makes us do that is we multiply it by 10 so we got to multiply the denominator by 10 also so let's multiply the numerator and denominator by 10 and that way it moves the decimal over one place so the 0.5 becomes 5 and then let's reduce this 5 goes into 5 once 5 goes into a thousand well it goes into 10 twice with two more zeros okay so it's going to reduce to one one over 200 okay so 0.5 percent uh, as a fraction is one two hundredths okay all right so explain why we needed two 10 by 10 grids to show the 113 percent well the 113 percent was greater than a hundred percent so the first grid showed us this 100% and the second grid showed us the 13% right there. So here's 113% right there. So if we had, say, 213%, I'd need another one of these full ones right here, okay? All right, so let's go ahead and write 72% as a decimal. Okay, so what we can do is first change it into a fraction. 72% is 72 hundredths, okay? And then... Uh, we can uh, use place value to write 72 hundredths as a decimal. Remember place value right here? So here's the decimal. This is the tenths spot. This is the hundredths spot. So 72 hundredths, the two has to end right here. So it would be 0 0.72 hundredths right there to end right there. So this says here's the tenths. This ends in the hundredths spot. So 0 0.72 hundredths. So that so 72 percent is the same as uh, 0 0.72. Okay. All right. So 72 percent is 0 0.72. Easy enough. All right. How about this? Change uh, 4 percent to write that as a decimal. Okay. All right. So well, remember, 4% is the same as 4 out of 100 right there, okay? So uh, let's go ahead and do long division on this, you guys. Now, if you already know the answer, that's great. It's not 0 0.40, you guys, because you only moved it over one spot. So let's use division here to write 4% as a decimal. So we divide the bottom into the top. So we had to add a couple of zeros right there. So we're going to put the decimal right here, and then 100 goes into 4 zero times, okay? Don't forget, you got to slide that 
decimal up there. All right, and then we do 100 times, um, times this 0. 100 times 0 gives us this 0. And then we're going to subtract 4 minus 0, okay? And then now we slide down the next 0. And then 100 goes into that 40, 0 times again. So we get... Um, 100 times 0 is 0, then we subtract again, and then we slide down the next 0, and then 100 goes into 400 four times. And so when we subtract, we get 0. Finally, we can stop dividing because we got a remainder of 0. So the 4% equals 0 0.04 right there, okay? 40% equals 0.4, but 4% equals 0 0.04. Remember, the decimal's right there, and the trick is just move it two places to the left. Okay, we get 0, uh, 0.04 right there. How about this one, you guys? Write 25.81% uh, percent as a decimal. Okay, well, 25.81 is 25.81 uh, out of 100 right there. So that's what goes inside of that box right there. Now, we can't have a decimal inside a fraction right there. So what we're going to do is uh, divide uh, by 100, remove the decimal places two places to the left. So we're going to take this decimal and just move it one, two places to the left right there. So here it is right there. And then so uh, we've got to put a zero out here so it becomes a 0 0.2581, all right? So 25.81% uh, is the same as 0 0.2581. All right, you guys, I hope that makes sense and, and take care.